SDS Aron Con E Day in a computer that come out through video party oi. Ui ve another problem in the world order and another problem with that garbage operating system also known as Microsoft Windows 10. It's a myth that that is a perfect, decent, benevolent, virtuous operating system. I'll cut to the chase. I have a 2016 version of Office Home and Student. I cannot open Word this morning. I have the documents. You have the documents proving that Microsoft is a criminal, corrupt, crooked cabal? <laughs> or you have the documents that proves that Microsoft Windows 10 is a decent operating system? I would love to see those documents. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because in my world, those documents is mythology. The mythology called Microsoft Corporation. They just bombard you with millions and billions of dollars of brainwashing, also known as marketing lies and marketing bullshit. Okay, so this was an easy fix. And click on the link in the description box below that'll take you to my blog post at my website, anacapiers.com, with other tips at the end. At the end of the blog post, I have other tips in case this quick fix does not fix your problem. What was the you want to guess what the culprit was? I'll give you a few seconds to try to guess what the culprit was that caused Microsoft Home and Student 2016 Word application not to open at all. It just wouldn't open. You would click on it, click on Microsoft Word icon, and nothing would happen. It was the... Microsoft click to run. There's a process in Microsoft you not might not be able to become aware of or you might not be aware of. I'm distracting myself, so I need to concentrate. Not that I give a shit. I'm already bored with this video. Because Microsoft Windows 10 is nothing but problems, and I get tired and bored of fixing Microsoft Windows 10 problems. But this was a quick and easy fix, so let's make this video as quick as possible. Possibly. Microsoft Office click to run. I think it was created around 2010. There are many different benefits. I'm not going to go over all of them. I did provide a link directly to an official Microsoft page or article explaining Microsoft Office Click to Run. One benefit is so that you can run multiple instances of Microsoft Office. You can install different versions of Microsoft Office, but I don't want to digress about that subject. I just made a video recently about that topic if you're interested. However, I've noticed that Microsoft Office Click to Run can cause problems. High CP utilization. Another problem I've noticed with pattern recognition is that Microsoft Office Click to Run will cause Microsoft Office applications not to work. So this was a quick, easy solution. What you do is you go into Task Manager, and then you end those processes. I noticed that there was three versions of Microsoft Office click to run in the background. So what you do is click in the taskbar, choose task manager, and then you'll be presented with task manager. Now I cannot demonstrate because I do not install that garbage on my computers. I do not and I refuse to use Microsoft Office. I use a pat well not Apache I use LibreOffice, but I don't want to digress about LibreOffice. Down here, if you sort it alphabetically, you would notice that Microsoft Office Click to Run will be running. On this particular Windows 10 computer, three of those processes were running. So all I did was right click one of them, and then I selected and task. And I did that for all three processes. Now, Microsoft Office Click to Run spawns again. They will respawn. You'll see three more, or it depends on your particular computer. However, even though they respawned, I went ahead and I do not use Microsoft Office. So down here, there might be a, an icon for Word. I clicked on Word, and guess what? Microsoft Word opened up. So sometimes 
you don't necessarily need to overcomplicate. I know the pale skinned Europeans intentionally by design with one of their systems also known as capitalism. I know they love to overcomplicate. I don't know if that's because pale skinned Europeans, their brains function different than the rest of the planet that is made with color. I don't know. But I do know, I've noticed that pattern that pale skinned Europeans love to overcomplicate. You don't always have to overcomplicate. Sometimes keeping it simple, stupid, is your best option. Especially at the very beginning of troubleshooting. Try to keep it simple, stupid. I learned this tactic. I learned that whenever diagnosing troubleshooting application software, applications that won't run, they won't open, they crash, errors, whatever the reason, or you can't install them, go into Task Manager and just perform some investigation. So my video is finished because that's how I fixed the problem. However, I'm going to give you a few couple bonus tips really quickly. Muy rapido. I highly recommend you check out the blog post linked to in the description box below because then I have full written instructions with my other tips. Don't overlook malware, spyware, adware, viruses. Don't overlook that if you cannot fix it quickly. You can also perform a repair. You could go into add or remove programs. And then what you would do is you would click on Microsoft Office Student and Home Edition 2016. You would right click it or you would just select it and then in there could be a repair option Microsoft Office has a had a repair option for decades so there should be a repair option instead of uninstalling you would click on repair it might also be listed under modify you know what I'm saying but you could perform a repair and maybe that would repair your Microsoft Office student in home edition 2016 well more specifically, succinctly, Microsoft Word will not open. Any other quick tips? Oh, two, two system scans, really quickly. A system file check scan, you can run that. SFC space forward slash scan now. A check disk scan, check disk, chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. Run those two scans. But you're going to need to read my blog post so that you will find out the exact details on how to perform those scans. Run those two scans. If that doesn't fix the problem, you know, malware, spyware, virus scans, blah, blah, blah. Another tip is to use my preferred PC optimization tool and clean up any junk files and run a registry scan. It could be a registry entry that is fucking up Microsoft Word 2016 Student Home Edition. If all else fails, you may have to reinstall Microsoft Office Home and Student Edition 2016. So these instructions were written for Microsoft Windows 10 Operating System and Microsoft Office Home and Student Edition version 2016 bit, but you can certainly use these as a basic point for other, operating, uh, other Microsoft operating systems and other versions of Microsoft Office. Adios!